Welcome back fellow coding facilitators, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the Animal House project that was originally for Scratch Junior, but do it in Scratch. So let's take a look at the project preview for what it looked like in Scratch Junior. Oh no, the pig's gonna get out. Cha chi cha chi cha. Moo. Wait, that's not the sound of a horse. Barn sound. So now let's take a look at what it looks like in Scratch. So we press the green flag. We can click on the fence. Oh no, the pig's gonna get out. We can click on the pig. Cha chi cha chi cha. Moo. And we Wait, have... that's not the sound of a horse. Oops, I spoke too soon. Barn sound. Barn sound. All right, so let's take a look inside of the code for this. So if we click see inside, we can look at the code. So the code is pretty similar. When you click on something, it's going to hide the fence in this example. So if we show it and it's going to play the recording. The thing that is different is in Scratch Junior, we need to actually tell it to show and to go to the front. So we need to add these three blocks, but otherwise that's the same concept. Kids will just click on it, it's going to hide, or they click on it and it makes a sound. And when you have both of these at the same time, it runs in parallel, so it's gonna do both of those. Now the barn is the same idea in terms of when you click, it's gonna do something. So you click and it plays a sound. The only thing that's different is it's going to actually change the size to get bigger. It's gonna wait and then change the size to get smaller. Now in Scratch Junior, we just use the block. We don't have to put in any kind of number or parameter, but in Scratch, we actually need to tell it how much bigger we want it to get or how much smaller we want it to get or take away the size. All right, so for the horse, it's the same idea. When you click, it's going to play the sound and then it's going to get larger or smaller. Now for the remaining two sprites, we have two different variations in here. So one is the icon based one. And then the other is the motion based one. Now for the icon based one, if you click here on the little uh, dashes, this will center you around the actual code. So this is very similar to what the code actually looks like in Scratch Junior. So for example, here's what the code looked like in Scratch Junior. So when we tap, it's going to wait a little bit. It's going to play a sound. Also, when we tap on the sprite, it's going to turn six, which is going to make it go upside down. It's going to go right, left, and it's going to do that a set number of times. And then it's going to turn some more so that it gets right side up. So the same thing happens in Scratch. So when we click, it's going to wait a little bit and play a sound. And also when we click, it's going to turn, again, the same number, so six, which will make it go upside down. This is gonna repeat going left and right, and then it's going to turn again, and that'll make it go back upright. So it's upside down, it's moving around, and then it turns again. The only thing that's different is the number of repeats right here. Otherwise, all of the other numbers are exactly the same thing for the motion. And then the weight is a little bit different for how long you want it to wait. But otherwise, it's the same concept. So you can still use the same idea to recreate the motion in here. Now, if you wanted to, you could also use the motion blocks for this. So this is a little bit more complicated. And uh, this actually has the example, but it's hidden. So if you actually want to see this, you need to press the show button. And then you'll be able to see this sprite use that motion. And then you can just hide your icon base pig like that. Okay, so this one is going to turn. This will make it again go upside down. It's going to do the same thing in terms of moving left and right, and it's going to turn again, which will make it go right side up. So it's the exact same idea, just using different blocks for this. All right, so let's take a look at the hen. So again, when you click on the icon hen, you need to click here to make it go to the actual code itself. And we can see that this is what is going to make it move right and left, and then it's going to jump at the very end while it is saying cha chi cha chi cha. Okay. So the same thing can be done with the motion blocks. So it can play the sound, just like it was in the other one. And then just like before, you can use the motion blocks to make it move left and right. Now, instead of making it jump using like X uh, and Y coordinates, you could actually just glide this. So what you can do for this is say, okay, my hen is right here. I want it to glide cha, up to cha, here. Cha, cha. Oops. And this will actually change the numbers over here. Oops, I grabbed the wrong hen, I'm sorry. So I click on this, I'm gonna disconnect it so we don't hear it. And when we move this hen, it's going to move the glide block. So if we want it to move up, it just changes coordinate. 
And then if we wanted to move back down, it just changed this coordinate again. So we can actually simulate making it look like it jumps. Only thing we have to change in here is how fast we want it to go. So if we want it to go small, just add a decimal and we do a quick jump. And if we want to take a little bit of longer, then we can just go with a larger number and it'll do the same thing. So it doesn't actually require kids to know the X and Y coordinates. All it requires them to do is just be able to move the sprite to where they want it to go. And then you'll see it changing right there. Otherwise, it's the same idea as the Animal House. But what I'd recommend doing is you don't even actually have to use these motion blocks. You can just start with this project by simply saying, when the sprite is clicked, play a sound. And you can either record the sounds like I did, or you can pick a sound that's on here. So you can record, or you can choose the sound right here. That's it. So that's a very quick introduction into how you can use Animal House inside of Scratch. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.